everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I wanted to share two orders that have recently come in from online shops. Uh, the first one is the Not Too Shabby Soar on Zibit, and here's that information. She sent some cute little butterfly die cut things, and I ordered from her the Cheeky Geeky. I have wanted this for forever and finally picked it up because a lot of places have had it out of stock frequently. So I finally got her. I'm so excited. I already trimmed her. I trimmed her the day that I got her and I already stamped her and colored her. So I'm going to attempt to make a card <coughs> someday soon and uh, put her on it so I can join in on the challenge that they're having, the store challenge, to win some prizes. So here's my little cheeky geeky girl. I put her in pink. I used my new Spectrum Noirs that I got. And Carol, if you're watching, yay, I got her! And um, you had also asked if the Spectrum Noirs are, you know, comparable to Copics. I don't have any Copics, so I, I can't tell you. I can't compare. But, um, here's an example of what they color like. I think that it looks pretty good. I don't know that people would be able to tell, you know, that it was the Spectrum Noirs instead of the Copics. And I personally like the, the Spectrum Noirs because they have a bullet nib on one end, not the super brush. And I personally can control that better, and I like it. I just like it a lot. So, that's what I used on her. I think she turned out adorable. I need to do another one in blue. Anyway, so there's that. And then I also picked up this CC Designs Lucy with Chickens. Because it's freaking cute. <laughs> I don't even know why I had to have this, but these chickens are like cracking me up. I don't know. I love it. I haven't trimmed her out yet, though. And I will most likely trim out the chickens separately. So cute. And that's all I ordered from there. And then my paper tray ink order came in. I ordered on the release date, which was the 15th. So it took about a week to get here. And, uh, which is, you know, par for the course. But I mostly, I picked up some cardstock to uh, do Christmas cards. So I got the Pure Poppy. And the Pine Feather. And I figured if I didn't order this month, it would either, the colors I wanted would either be out of stock. Or... Um, not available, you know, so, um, and now I can go on ahead and start too. Scarlet Jewel, and then this is the Rustic White cardstock, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a craft paper, only white, you know, with the little speckles in it, and then also the Rustic Cream, which is like craft with the little speckles in it, but a cream color, so I just think that that's neat to have more craft-ish options. So I picked those up, and those were $5 a pack, and there's uh, 24 sheets, so I think that's pretty good, and their paper is awesome. I love their paper. So, got that. I also picked up the vintage buttons in uh, Red Poppy, is that what it's called? Pure Poppy because I did not have any of the pure poppy buttons. So I picked those up. Looks like there was a stowaway in there. Looks like Melon Burst or something. A bit, no, it's not Melon Burst. It's like that melony color, I think. So I picked those up, and you get quite a few. This was $5. And then I got, I broke down <laughs> and bought this pillow box die. I got the pillow box die and I'm, I'm pretty stoked to try it out. So I got that. It's actually fairly large. I'm, I'm impressed. I was expecting it to be smaller. So that's cool. Got that. That'll make some quick and easy gifts for Christmas. And then on to the stamps. First stamp set I got is... Uh, layered postmarks holiday and those are some big stamps awesome but it's just really cute it has a holly a star and a Christmas tree with like 
postmarks on them, you know, like see postcard and stuff. And then it also comes with the solid images so that you can layer them up, which is cool. And it comes with three sentiments, holly berry and a little star. All good wishes for Christmas. May peace be your gift at Christmas and your blessing all year through. A Merry Christmas to you. So that's neat. And I am a sucker for anything with holly. So I got that. That was a $24 set. I also picked up Beautiful Blessings Holiday. And I have said in other videos that I really like my Christmas cards to be religious, especially to family and friends, or close friends. And um, this was nice because it has the Bible verses for Christmas, for some Christmas passages. And I like that. Even, you know, just a stamp on the back of a card. That's nice. So I picked that up. That was $24 as well. And then I got the Over Under Easy. And it's really cute. It has these sentiments that are all separate. And then it also has all these like flourishy things to put on top or under the um, sentiments to make them more decorative. Kind of like the sets that they've re pre released previously. I don't remember what their names are, but they kind of were more decorative with the floor shows and stuff, so I thought that was cool. And also, I thought it would be neat to be able to use these bars, these decorative flourish bars, with this set as well, with the Bible verses. I thought that would be fun. So I got that. And then to go with that one, too, they also came out with a mini little set over under Easy Holiday Editions, and it's just two more of the sentiments that are in the same style as this that you can use the little flourishes with. So that's like really cool. I like that. And I, I this one's probably my favorite. I'll probably make stuff for my kids. This and that. It says it's, oh, it always seems impossible until it's completely done. I know you can do it. I just, I just think it's fun. And these things can go like on the inside of your card super cool and this and you know I have to have things that go with because that's just how I am I also picked up the dies that go with the layered postmarks and it's the tree and the holly and then this last stamp set that I got I am it's like <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping that my that my wishes would be answered <laughs> with this stamp set and it is a Hanukkah stamp set. It was $5. I was super stoked because this year, one of the teachers that I work with, she's Jewish. And I was like, what am I going to do? I have no, I have no stamps to accommodate for that. And then this one was released and I was like, they knew what I was thinking. They knew what I needed. So <laughs> here's that stamp set. And then I also got the dies to go with and the stamp set's teeny and the dies are big so I'm kind of surprised by that but um I think I'm totally going to use the Star of David because she has a necklace and a tattoo and stuff and then this oh cool that's that's neat and then this could even be used as little banners and then the menorah. So yeah, I am way excited about that to be able to make her a card now. And that's all I picked up. And I know I say that's all I picked up, but I know it wasn't it's it wasn't you know, a teeny order. It wasn't an extremely large order either, but I wasn't I've heard lots of people say they weren't too impressed with this release, but I really liked the, like, the sentiment sets that were released, which was nice. You can't have too many sentiments, in my opinion. So, that's all I have for now. I did place an order with Tiddly Inks and ordered two of their new, of their new uh, clear stamp sets. Um, one is a witch, a Halloween one, and then one is... Um, it's like a couple. It's like a kind of a wedding-ish one. I'm probably not going to use it for a wedding-ish, but it was just cute, so I ordered it. 
anyway, thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. And hopefully I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!